forever the butt of jokes, the anus is something most of us would rather not spend too much time thinking about. But this incredible organ is pretty important for understanding the diversity and development of life on our planet. As we all know, the anus is the final gateway of our digestive tract, through which we can conveniently get rid of our undigested waste. Us humans have got one, and so have all insects, mammals, birds, fish and amphibians. Some even have a multifunctional one that they pee, poo and lay eggs through. But for many organisms, it's not just a case of in one end and out the other. Some, like sponges, don't have a digestive tract at all. No mouth, no anus, and nothing in between. They get the nutrition from seawater by siphoning it through all the holes in their structure and absorbing nutrients straight into their cells. And tapeworms, which are parasitic in our own intestines, also get by without a gut of their own. Attaching themselves in the intestines means that they can leach off the food that we've already digested and absorb the small molecules straight through their skin. And there's even the curious case of animals with only one opening, which serves as both a mouth and an anus. The sea anemones and jellyfish both have this minimalist digestive system. They catch small plankton floating in the water around them and then guide them towards and into their mouths. There the food sits in a sack and is digested and all the bits that can't be broken down are expelled back out through that same hole. Now, if pooping through your mouth hole doesn't sound bad enough, there's another major downside to having a bag-style digestive system. You've only got space for one meal at once. Imagine having to wait 10 hours or so after you've eaten your breakfast before you've digested, expelled the waste, and finally have space for lunch. And it's because of this limit to energy intake that you don't see any big animals running around with a mouth and no anus. Instead, once our ancestors stumbled upon on the back door to the digestive system by a fluke evolution, there was no turning back. Having what is essentially a long tube with an opening at both ends opened up a whole world of digestive possibilities. Not only can we pack in a whole series of meals, one after the other, but we can specialise which parts of the digestive tract do what. In humans, the mouth chews and that breaks down the food, the stomach adds acid and breaks down protein, the upper small intestine intestine breaks down the rest and then the lower small intestine absorbs the nutrients and the large intestine reabsorbs the water. Other animals specialise in different ways, like the cow with its fermentation chamber to digest grass. But however it's modified, it's an efficient production line and it's all thanks to the anus. Scientists think they found the genes that unlock the back door in these more complex animals. But as to where it came from in the first place, we're still not sure. One idea is that the anus might have begun life as an organ with a very different purpose sex. Most invertebrates like flatworms and crustaceans don't have genitals as we know them, but release their sperm and eggs from a hollow called a gonopore. And the theory goes that in one of our primitive ancestors, this gonopore was switched in purpose from reproduction to digestion to form the anus. We may never get to the bottom of anus evolution, but as distasteful as it might seem, we really do owe a lot to the humble anus. Were you surprised? by how important the anus is? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Give us a like and subscribe for more videos about science and nature and I'll see you next time.